In this tutorial, I will be walking through the parameters for torch height control. In any of the three panels, navigate to the configuration icon in the top right hand corner. With the configuration window open, find fabrication heads under machine. We need to access the settings for a plasma fab head, so click on the name of an existing one under ID. Once in the settings, scroll down to find torch height control. Check off the Use Torch Height Control box to enable this feature. Arc voltage divisor is typically set to 50 and must match the exact voltage divider setting in your torch. Note that in order for the torch height control system to work properly, the quotient of maximum raw voltage divided by arc voltage divisor must be smaller than 5 volts. The lockout factor turns the torch height control off to prevent unwanted diving when the XY velocity of the torch is below this percentage of the programmed feed rate. With the lockout hysteresis setting, the THC will turn back on again when the XY velocity is greater than the product of the lockout factor plus lockout hysteresis times programmed feed rate. In other words, the lockout factor and hysteresis work together to lock the torch height when the X and Y speed slow down, such as at the corners. With these values, when the machine has decelerated below 94% of the program feed rate, it will lock the torch height until the machine accelerates up to the lockout factor plus the hysteresis, in this case above 99% of the programmed feed rate. Set point offset offsets the small residual voltage when the torch is not in use. It is not applied while cutting. Sensitivity determines how sensitive the THC acts towards voltage fluctuation. When the slider bar is adjusted, the new value appears in the dead band voltage window below. A dead band voltage of about 1 volt is ideal. Once you are satisfied with your torch height control settings, click the save button in the top right hand corner to apply these settings to your selected fab head.